Whoa, things just got torrential. I don't know if you can see the wind blowing. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> well, perfect day to do a studio tour and clean. Well, hello everybody. It's Tanya here. Thanks for joining me today. Welcome to the crazy mess that is my studio. And I thought today would be fun to give you a bit of a studio tour and a clean with me video because I'm seeing these all over YouTube these days and it looked like fun. So I'm going to busy around and get things done and ah, it's the perfect day for it. It's a beautiful fall day. All of the leaves are falling. The colors are beautiful. The little cat is snuggled up. I have my decaf. I'm good to go. Let's give you a, a 360 panorama of the mess that is my studio life at the moment. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's my view of the building next door. That's my nice view. And that's my desk, <laughs> which we're going to get to today. And all of my jungle plant corner. And then there's me. So today, uh, yeah, I think that'll be fun. And um, 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 thanks for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I hope the audio is okay. I might do a voiceover. Anyway, let's get to the desk, shall we? The best book ever. Look at this, like all these things that you can do. Look at there's like, okay, I'm getting different. I get it. I'll stop. As you can see, everything is super cat friendly. And this, a necessity for all artists in the winter, is actually a heating pad, and it was for dogs. And the really cool thing is it keeps your toes warm. And it's such a low, low heat, you never have to worry about it if you accidentally leave it on. So it's fantastic. I just love it. Anyway, I want to share the story of this desk because I am. this is an old oak desk that was handmade. It's an antique that was purchased by my mom in Manitoba many, many years ago in the 70s. And the story that it came with was that it was created by a Mennonite farmer and he made the whole thing by hand. You can see that the planks have now broken, but I love that it's got the character and I can paint on it and I don't have to worry. But here's the funny story. This is the story. I don't know if it's true. Was that there used to be two drawers on this desk. One you can see, um, I put a sliding door in there so I can put my items. And then this one, which was actually the real drawer. And then apparently... Um, his son got him a computer and he didn't know what to do with it so he actually carved a hole into the top of the desk to put the monitor in so that he could work with it. Now I don't know if that's true, it's a good story. However, the cool thing for me is that it holds all my art supplies perfectly. They're always at hand and then they're organized. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out, give it a bit of a clean and then organize and tell you some of the goodies that I work with all the time. Okay, so what you're looking at is um, a lot of the art supplies that I use often. So I've got them all in here, and then others are in the flat drawers behind. So I've got my reference books that I like to have handy. My ruler, got the tripod in here. And then I've got some super, these are the best, super thin fine line markers. And I got this bamboo organizer, and this is where I like to put paintings that are sort of in progress that haven't been completed yet or things that were just trial and error. Sometimes I put a lot of my palettes in here, things that I'm playing with. And then I have actual paint supplies. So these are all watercolor paints, um, brushes that I use, travel brushes, more brushes, my water glasses, pencils, pens, other markers, some washi tape. And then over here is where I keep some small pieces of paper and some sketchbooks. I will share this because it's not really part of this channel, but it's one of my favorites that I ever did. <laughs> Isn't that funny? This is actually a real hat that you can buy, believe it or not. Anyways, it was fun. I did that for October last year, I think, or something. Anyway, keep some of my 
watercolor blocks here and then um, inspirational color palettes. You've probably seen me do this on the channel before. So that's what all of this is. So I'm just going to pull all of this out. I'm going to do it in fast forward and I'm just going to give that a bit of a tidy. And then we're going to go to the next step. Now it is time to tackle the flat drawers, which should be interesting, plus the jungle that is on top and the side. <laughs> I love this little corner. It's just getting a little congested. So I'm going to move that. But first, let's do a tour of the flat drawers because everybody always wants to know what's in them. So let's check that out. Oh, and yay, the power's back on. Okay, so let's check out the flat drawers. So this one has a bunch of supplies in it. I have these are so fun to paint with. These are Ecoline watercolor inks. They're absolutely fantastic. I should do a video with those one day. I have a bunch of dot sheets, which I've shown in other videos. These are actually paint samples, so you can try them without having to buy all the tubes. Some watercolor pencils, more dot sheets, and some calligraphy stuff. This is butcher's block tape, so when you want to do watercolors and stretch them. And this has got half pans in it. Yep, these are empty half pans for watercolor. Some more watercolor tubes, some pens, some really old watercolors. I won't bother showing you because they're old quality. And then some nice paints and stuff. And my old business cards. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's check out the next drawer. That's actually pretty well organized, so I'm going to use that. Oh, that's just packaging stuff. We don't need to see that. Some papers and some journals and charcoal paper for tracing, which I don't do much of. Some more paintings and original drawings. I love this guy. He's one of the first watercolors I did. I love him. Look at those eyeballs. <laughs> okay, what's in this one? And this is my favorite drawer because this is where all the star seed paintings are. And there's so many of them, I have to get them up for sale. These aren't even the ones that I've got ready packaged to go and get listed, but they're all organized by groups like Andromedan and the Syrian and the Antarian and Lyran and Pleiadian. Oh my, all sorts. And then it's a packaging drawer. And then we get into the crystal stuff. And this is where the fun things are. So this is stock for the shop, all the crystals that are ready to go. Little mini crystal grid sets, which I love. Those are so fun. And then just that really needs a reorganization for sure. That might be a whole new video. And then some more stock. Oh my gosh, that needs a reorg. These are some of my higher end and personal crystals, um, like very rare ones like this guy here, which is a very, very rare scepter quartz. Incredible piece. I have not listed this in the shop yet. And so that, and then the last one is all Starberry quartz. And these are all the ones that have an affinity with them. Um, different galactic groups and I just love them. Almost all of these are hand mined in Arkansas and they just have, um, you can see some of these guys. I'll just put him back. And then that's the drawers. So now I have to figure out, now I have to figure out how are we going to organize the room. So I think it's time for a little fast forward action. What was that? Yeah, that's good. Okay. The next little zone is kind of a happy spot for me and it's where I've got all sorts of my plants and stuff but it's a bit of a mess here too. But I like the layout of this, 
And then I've got some of my artwork here that I think things like the recycle bin. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. So there we go. That's nice. Nice little nook. I like that. You can see some of my art pieces. This is one of my favorite crystal grids. Love that, that I made. And a painting I did so many years ago. I like, I still love that painting. Supplies and uh, packaging station paintings. And there's my printer and my scanner and some more paintings. And then of course the dreaded standing desk. <laughs> oh, that's messy. Let's tidy it just cause that'll, that'll just give us like such a sense of accomplishment. Okay. I'm going to put this into fast forward mode. There we go. That looks so much better, doesn't it? Yay, clean desk. I love it. All right, let's take a quick view of everything. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I can see the top of my desk. Everything is organized. And the drawers look really good. And my nook looks really good. Yay. So there we go. Everything looks great. I'm really happy. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you could hear me. I did not mic myself today just because I was running all over the place and I didn't want the cord, but that was fun. And let me know if you liked it. And maybe next week we can tackle that zone. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I love you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I am Tanya. I am a crystal whisperer. I am a light code activator and I am a channeler of spirit. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. And thanks so much for hanging out. Bye.